Next tonight, imagine you order a ride to the arena for a concert or a game, and it shows up without someone in the driver's seat. This is a concept that a West Coast company, Waymo, has brought to life. While you can't call one yet here in Buffalo, you may have noticed their cars on Queen City streets. The company is here in Western New York doing weather tests for its self-driving vehicles. The cars are pretty eye-catching, all white electric Jaguars with a large sensor on top to track its surroundings. Right now, Waymo is only offering rides in Phoenix and San Francisco, but it has announced plans to expand in Los Angeles and Austin. So how exactly does this technology work and does it have a future here in Buffalo? 7 News reporter Michael Schwartz has the story. After sharing the road with Waymo's for weeks, I've been wanting to get inside the self-driving car service being tested here on the streets of Buffalo. But why here? To improve our technology by better understanding the snow, salt on the roads, in all of those lake effect kind of conditions. Ishpreet Singh and his team from the San Francisco based company have been here for a month. He explains how the car drives itself using radio and light detection or LIDAR. These speeding sensors are LIDAR sensors, which essentially emit uh, laser pulse beams to help build a map of what surrounds it. 360 degrees in every direction, three football fields away. We have 29 cameras around the vehicle, actually. So the way Waymo works is actually you unlock it from your phone. You would get in, your initials would be on the top and inside and away you go. People can download the Waymo app and hail a fully autonomous ride. The service already operating in San Francisco and Phoenix. Tonight, our Maki Becker using Waymo in Phoenix. Yeah, hi, Michael. Um, I'm in a Waymo here right now. And as you can see, there's no driver here. No one at all. Maki tells me a trip about one mile cost her $10 and there was no option for tip. So keep your seatbelt fastened, please. Back here at home, UB staff and students excited for Waymo to be on campus Thursday. They decided to come to Buffalo. I would be more than happy to, yeah, be a cheerleader for that. <laughs> now Waymo tells me if a passenger tries to interfere with the ride, it pulls over immediately. At, at a fundamental level, people always want to, to know more. We're always excited to be doing things like this here in Buffalo. Waymo plans to add LA and Austin to its service by the end of the year. No announcements yet to operate in Buffalo. Michael Schwartz, 7 News Buffalo.